Well, Lewis, a warm, warm welcome to Birmingham City Football Club. How does it feel to have signed here? Cheers, thank you. Yeah, no, I'm absolutely over the moon. Um, it's a dream come true to sign for a club like this. So, yeah, can't wait to get going again, though. Yeah. How did the move come about? Because I know you were recently at York City and obviously now here in, yeah. in the second city. How, how did it happen? Yeah, so obviously I just got a phone call from someone that was helping me out and said that he'd be able to get me a trial here. And straight away I was like, yeah, as soon as I could get on it and made every, did everything I could to make it happen. So... Luckily, I made it work. Yeah, been involved as a trialist for a number of games now and obviously done enough to impress. How has it been settling in and, yeah. and playing for your deal almost? Yeah, no, nah, to be fair, I've always relished in playing with pressure anyway. Like, I remember after the Col before the Colchester game, Spoons told me about the gaffer being there and stuff. And he said, I knew I, I wouldn't tell a lot of lads this, but I know you can deal with this pressure, so go out and just do what you did. And obviously, I had a good game again, got unlucky with the injury, but... I think luckily I did enough anyway in the other games that I played, so yeah, yeah it was good. Slotted in really well in that 21s environment. Um, how have the lads been? How's Steve Spooner, James Brown been with yeah, you? Yeah, everyone's been quality. I said, I've said to everyone that I've spoke to how good the club is. Like, it's, it's unbelievable, so yeah, I'm just grateful to be here now, yeah. yeah. And I keep learning from them. Yeah, you mentioned the opportunity to have the gaffer, John Eustace, watch you play, that sort of thing. The pathway here is something that often attracts people to the football club. We've seen over the decades, lots of young players get opportunities in the first team, even now. Is that something that attracts you as well? Yeah, it's my, that's my number one goal now. Like obviously, I've got my contract sorted, but they don't really mean anything yet. I want to be playing first team for the Birmingham and to get, make as many appearances and be involved with the first team as much as I can. That's my dream, so yeah, it's, that's all I'm thinking about right now. Good. Um, tell us a little bit about your career, because you started at Man City, you've played for Barnsley and Doncaster, yeah. York, a couple of loan moves as well. You've been up and down, yeah, up and down. Yeah, I've been everywhere, to yeah. be fair. I've done it all, so yeah, it's just, yeah, I just started when I was younger at City. Obviously, they're like your first where you learn basically how to be a professional footballer, like the basics of it. Um, but Barnsley, obviously, I had a bad injury, but came through that on the other side, showed a lot of resilience. And then Donny, I did a scholar, and yeah, it's just, again, you learn how to be a professional football and how to be an adult in the game as well so and York last year I learned so much obviously we got promoted and I was in around the first team squads like it was it was a great feeling to be a part of that as well and I owe a lot to them because they gave me the opportunities to go on loan and play men's football and learn what you've got to be to mm. play for the first team at a club like Birmingham City so yeah, it's, it's been a lot of different scenarios, but yeah, it's good. Yeah, it all helps, I'm sure. Let's yeah, touch yeah. on those low moves just just now. Warrington and Glossop, you helped Warrington to a promotion as well as York City. What was it like being around that environment and, and really helping a team that were doing really well? No, nah, it's the best feeling because you might not be playing every week and you might not be the first team name on the squad, but you can help in so many other ways and you're learning from the experienced players that maybe are going through their first promotion as well and how they're dealing with it and you can take that onto what you're doing now. So when I've come to the 21s, from my experiences last season, I feel like I can give the other lads a lot of things from my experience and they can learn from me. So it's just what I want to do is help and do do my own stuff, yeah. Brilliant. Um, I'm sure Blues fans will learn a lot more about you in the coming weeks and months, but for those who might not have seen you play yet, what sort of player are you? Where do you play and what are you all about? Yeah, I'm I, I'm a left back or left centre half. Um, I, I'm, I feel like I'm a physical centre half when I play there. I like to get, I like to get stuck in, aggressive. And I like playing football, I'm good on the ball, left footed, so obviously that's a bit of a gift. <laughs> <laughs> Ideal. Yeah, yeah. Um, so. What are your goals, Lewis, for the for the immediate future? What do you want to achieve while you're here? Well, I've got short term goals of trying to be in the first team squad training as quick as I can, just to try and get in there with a the gaffer and show him what I can do. And then from there, it's just pushing to get into the squad and try and make as many squads as I can and just see where it takes me. But I'll just keep going until it doesn't. So. Yeah. Just uh, one last question. You know the area quite well. A bit of a family connection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that help? Yeah, definitely. Well, I was staying with my auntie when I obviously I came down here, so that definitely helps. Like she's been helping me out so much the months that I've been here. So yeah, it definitely helps. And obviously, I've got a lot of family ties. That means that I know what it takes to play for Birmingham, and I know what it means to the fans and the people of this city. So yeah, I just can't wait to get going. Yeah, great to have you here, Lewis. Well Cheers. done. Thank you.